Hi dears and welcome back to the channel Benidorm by Anna, it's me Anna with you here and today we are in a lovely garden to talk about the latest news about all the restrictions and everything that is going on here in our lovely country and Benidorm's region. So let's start with the situation probably first. As you might know the cases were increasing and I was very intrigued on seeing what actually will be going on with this. And at the end, we have more or less 4,360 cases per 24 hours. We don't know the data right now for the weekend, but I suppose that it will be around 9,000 more or less cases for the weekend time. And before the index was 71.5 per every 100,000, but uh, during the weekend, it will be rising and it will be towards 80 already, more or less, okay? It's like, it's like an estimate of mine. Uh, in general, uh, all Spain does not have any kind of new restrictions, but País Vasco, which is on the north part of Spain, what they've decided to do basically is to put on some restrictions in terms of um, like multitude in terms of a lot of people like big gatherings so they might be doing some restrictions in terms of events or something else like capacity overall capacity inside but I don't think it's going to be more than that because Spain is very uh, straightforward with what they want to do and what they want to do basically is to go towards the new normality no matter what as they say unless there's going to be a total collapse in the hospitals this is what they will be doing no restrictions but since each region is kind of free to um, make the decisions that they consider necessary uh, this is what's happening in País Vasco. In the rest, everything is okay. And uh, even here in our area, like uh, since we are still in extreme risk, no new restrictions will be. We're on, in celebrations right now, Benidorm's fiestas. And the index of people in the hospitals is very, very low. It's like 1.57% of all people hospitalized. So it's a great news so far, even though the amount of cases is increasing, but we are good up until the day of today this is basically the situation uh, right now here in spain and in our region the second news that i wanted to share with you all is that hosteleria which is basically bars restaurants cafeterias and hotels as well they have bookings already for christmas new year as uh, eve like christmas day uh, and the evening before that uh, starting from october they're fully booked so people that are trying to book the best places right now what they kind of see is that everything is full there are no bookings available anymore and all these places that have everything pre-planned for a few months already uh, beforehand what they are doing is that they are buying massively products and just um freezing them if they can of course if not then they are leaving these products like for a last minute but the majority of them they are trying to freeze them because the prices are rising up still especially for um seafood which includes like fish and different seafood products um as octopus it might be some uh vieiras it might be oysters like a lot of different things shrimps as well king prawns uh, and etc and also for the meat prices are rising up substantially right now uh, and they are trying to buy as much as they can to have it for the holidays. They even say that it's approximately, it's been calculated that prices will rise up by 40% for these products, which is a huge amount of money. Uh, and families also are doing approximately the same thing. I've asked it at the um, shopping, like at the supermarket today when I went grocery shopping. And I've asked, do people buy already like a seafood and fish and meat like in advance? Uh, they say yeah people already have started they're buying a lot of things and freeze them all like inside of waiting for the holidays to come because prices are starting to rise in consum supermarket they say it's not as such a big deal because they maintain a lot of prices still but they will start rising shortly like in a week more or less or so um so right now basically a lot of people are just afraid that there'll be a shortage of products mainly that's because of that apart from the prices rise so they're buying a lot of food a lot of products people are going to toy shop and making sure they have uh presents at least for children 
uh, because for them like to avoid you know later on issues and problems and being children being sad because mostly we do all for them you know for our children grandchildren cousins um, and people are buying things already what they actually say is that before people used to wait up until the extra payment uh, usually a few times a year one of them is in december before new year people receive an extra payment from their um like from their worker which is called paga de navidad like uh christmas payment christmas extra payment uh, which is in the amount of their monthly wage more or less uh, and people waited for that to make last minute shopping but this year they're not waiting they're buying everything now just because they are afraid they're truly afraid what will be happening before holidays um, and uh, all this the same is happening with the prices for petrol you know everything is rising up the inflation is going up and the experts actually say that this will be continuing at least up until spring 2022 so the government has said it's going to be something very very quick it's not something that will affect us a lot but see at least up until spring 2022 so we will see what will be happening so far this is the situation and so far this is the problem with the prices that we have right now not a big rise just yet but it will be rising in a few weeks starting from december and the next news is that about the banking system about banks you know that here in spain we had a lot of different banks uh, a lot of offices everywhere like on each street there are at least three or four bank offices and this whole system has been changing for quite a while there is a new bank which officially starts from now which is um kaisha bank uh, Kaisha Bank basically they've made like a fusion of Bankia and Kaisha Bank. Bankia is totally like it's been eaten <laughs> off from Kaisha Bank. So now only Kaisha Bank exists. All the clients right now they are able to use already all the apps like mobile phone, uh, online, website, everything. They're able to use it as Kaisha Bank because all of this database have been passed to this new giant massive bank in Spain. By the way, it's the biggest in Spain right now in terms of client, in terms of money that they have, in terms of everything, the offices. It's like the huge giant here in Spain. The idea of Spanish government was to eliminate as much uh, small banks as possible from the system and leave just three, four maximum uh, like big, big banks here in Spain, which is kind of a good thing to do because we've had like a lot of different banks that I don't even know what they are all about, like uh, Eva Bank, like different, different ones for credits and for a lot of other things, but it's just too much too many banks already with a few of them we will be more than happy uh, and uh, basically right now what is happening is that the financial sector has is changing which is very good for us uh, banks slowly are getting back to where they were decades ago uh, when there were only a few offices uh, less workers less things everything was simple and clear for the clients as well so let's hope that it will get back to where it was and um, everything will be better because right now banks are kind of uh, seeing and uh, changing because they see that people want different things that um, people cannot take credits like mortgages uh, for their house because banks made it so so difficult and almost impossible to achieve that it's just not happening so they're seeing the problems that they have the internal issues that they have uh, and what people need and slowly changing it which is always for good unless they're they will start charging us huge commissions which some banks do already then it's for the best and the last news very very interesting one something that i knew will be happening but i just did not know when it will be uh, is about uh, false falsified like false products brands like non-brands things that benidorm sells that some chinese shops sell in benidorm uh, when we were walking down the mediterranean avenue like a lot of these small chinese shops they were selling t-shirts like balenciaga uh, guess armani uh, like Hugo Boss and like, Tommy Hilfiger and a lot of these like uh, 
worldwide famous brands you know these t-shirts they were sold for seven euros each and if you were, were taking like a lot of them they made you even a discount additional discount so um in these shops they were interfered with police so police went there eventually and they've taken more than 2,000 products which are false products they don't even change a letter in the name they just put it as it is you know which is why a lot of people were buying them because why not it looks like identical twin of the product that is sold like for 60 70 euros and here you buy it for seven um, so eventually what they did is they went to these Chinese bazaars, they've taken all these products, five people were, um, went, were brought into like police departments, they've stayed there, they've made, they've declared everything, they've said everything that they needed to say and at the end they are out right now, they're not in prison but they are waiting for the uh, judge to decide what to do, they're waiting for the court basically. Uh, and then they'll decide if it's going to be like a huge fine or if it's going to be prison, what it will be eventually. But it's so, so interesting to see that it's still happening. Like a while ago here in Albir, we also have some Chinese shops. I've visited these as well, uh, but I've never bought like um, fal falsified, you know, products. Uh, but still, I went there, I was checking it all the time and I was thinking like, how can they put it out? Are they not afraid like they will get caught for it? Uh, and eventually this is what happened here in Albir as well. There is one Chinese shop that's no longer there. They've changed the location. Um, they've had like a huge corner shop and they were selling Real Madrid, like a lot of sports teams, like false products. They were selling a lot of brand, like false branded things. And eventually police went there. They also got to pay more than like 300,000 euros fine. And eventually they could not cope with this shop, like bigger shop, they went into the smaller one. But they are still open. It's just that they don't have these false products anymore. And the same is happening in Benidorm right now. Probably they'll just get a huge fine and that's basically it. But they've sold more or less 78,000 worth euros of products like false branded products which is just crazy like how can they sell it if they know police is there like they know people are walking people are filming like i do my vlogs for example um people are just walking they're seeing it police officers are walking nearby cars are like passing nearby everyone sees that you have these false products like why the hell would you want to risk so much for these few euros if the fine is going to be a lot like bigger than what you're earning i don't get it but they are still did it and right now more and more shops like these are closed temporarily until they take all these products and just leave what is non-branded i mean it is what it is it's their choice but this is what's happening this investigation was since september uh and like in two months they've gotten inside uh, like police officers and they know what's going on exactly and they've taken all these products out so right now they're waiting for court let's see what will be happening with them but less and less shops like this are selling their like false branded goods in benidorm or in albir like in our area they're very very careful like each time more and more because police officers are just like uh, breathing in their back like they can feel they are there so in my opinion i would not risk like this but it's everyone's choice and they decided to risk and right now they need to pay a huge huge fine that can cost the entire business for them this is basically what's happening and what about the spanish weather the weather is nice it's chilly outside which is why i'm with a sweater but basically i don't need a jacket nothing like this so it's still good the weather is getting better only with some rain as you can see on the north part some snow on the border of uh, spain be uh, between spain and france and there might be some rain right here in the balearic islands but not more than that the rest of the days uh, it should be very good at least here it's not going to be raining it's going to be sunny slash cloudy but it's still a stable weather so it's all good the temperatures are slightly fresh today i mean we knew it will be happening eventually it's almost like mid it's mid-november not almost it's mid-november going towards december towards true winter and we go like this down the street so we are okay 
Um, and in Alicante today, it's expected to have approximately 20 degrees, the same here in Benidorm, in Barcelona 16, Granada 20, Malaga 25, very, very warm in Malaga today, Sevilla 22, Madrid 14, Murcia 20, Balearic Island 16, Canary in between 23 and 25, that's typical temperature there as well, and in Valencia 20. The minimum temperatures these nights will reach minus 4 degrees, but it will be somewhere in the center and north parts of Spain. And the water temperature in our area today is still of 20 degrees, so a lot of people are still swimming actually right here, especially when it's sunny outside. I hope you enjoyed watching today's news and I will see you tomorrow with a new video from our lovely Benidorm because we are still on celebrations. I'll see you then. Bye.